Hi guys, uh, this is probably a preview. I made some paper plane. Start this again. Hi guys, this is a preview or Mark One version. The other day I made a a launcher, a rubber band powered launcher for paper aeroplanes that I saw on Pinterest, and it worked. But straight away somebody asked me why didn't I 3D print one? So this is the Mark I version. Needs a bit of work on it, but it does work. So I'll just demonstrate it launching. Um, that'll do. Um, this particular version won't be available on uh, Tinkercad because I'm going to do a version 2. I need to move these bits. And I need to adjust the size of this bit. But other than that, it's very simple. Rubber band goes back over here, over the end, and then you pull the trigger, and that pushes the rubber band off the end. And that launches the aeroplane. Just do that again. Over there, and just put that one on there. <laughs> yeah, that was the problem I was having with the card one as well. Sometimes it doesn't slip off the end properly, it gets stuck on one side. So I do need to round these edges off to make sure it comes off properly and as I said change the size of this but we'll do that again see if we can get it to come off cleanly yeah that worked what surprised me was I deliberately made this one the other day quite thin I didn't expect it to be able to launch something like this, which is a bit fancy and it's got lots of folds in it, so it's quite thick. So I didn't expect that to be able to be launched by something like this. It's not a tight fit, but it's not a loose fit. But I was surprised because I gave it a try just now. Because it's going to fail again, but I gave it a try just now and it worked. So even though I had to push it in a bit to make it fit, <laughs> it's got caught on the other side. That is one of the wonders of 3D printing. You can just keep making changes until it works the way you want it to. Right, I'll try that again. Make sure that's back there. Yeah, that worked. Over there, over there. So, so this one's a little bit thick, but it does go in. Ah, stuck again. Fifty percent success rate so far, I think.
Yeah. So yeah, need to do a bit of work on this. So there'll be at least version two with that trigger or hammer actually, like on a gun, but the trigger there needs to be trimmed a bit. We need to smooth the corners there so it slides off better. Other than that, it can't be much simpler than that. Just a slot along there. And a slot where my thumb is inside there. And a peg to go through to hold it all together. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.